I've been going to the Pomara Brethren in Christ Church since 1983, when my husband and I moved here from Western Pennsylvania. I've been there all my life. 56 years. Well, we first camp started coming in um, January of 1965. That was about the time that the uh, Ford Mustang was introduced. And uh, I think the Beatles on Ed Sullivan show appeared nationally. And so uh, it's almost 50 years coming up. We were drawn to the church because it's the people who uh, attend there. We visited uh, one or two Sundays and then we were welcomed by so many people, invited to their homes and uh, just invited to come back. We were married in the Brethren in Christ Church in York County and, and we came up in this area. My wife got a job teaching Palmyra High. And uh, so we, we checked out a few other churches, but we tend to gravitate, gravitate back towards the Brethren in Christ Church. Well, we were seeing some a growth both spiritually and in numbers. And we felt that if we were going to be part of God's movement in the Palmyra area, then we needed to make some changes. Well, uh, <clears throat> when Pastor Yoder was here, uh, we went to the two services and then it became very apparent that our parking wasn't adequate, the sanctuary wasn't going to be adequate if we kept growing, and uh, we were landlocked, so we had to look somewhere else. I do the trash each week, you know, I throw it in the dumpster, and I've seen us go from two bags, well, today I put in about 15 or 20, and of course every one of those uh, styrofoam cups and every one of those plates represents a, a person who's not only being fed with you know good high calorie food but spiritual feed feeding as well the decision probably was not an easy decision uh, I think that we uh, bathed the, the decision with prayer and discussion and we we went about it uh, as the Bible says to count the cost before we would do something like that, but yet stepping out in faith. And was somewhere of balancing those two points. It was difficult, even for board members. Uh, you get attached to a building, you get attached to a surrounding, and, and so it, it kind of grew on us. Uh, and it was a very slow process. Uh, during those years when we were looking for land or looking for a building, uh, we kept the church involved. We had like round table discussions and uh, allowed people to ask questions and uh, it was uh, a productive process. It, it wasn't a difficult. I wasn't, uh, wasn't tied to that building. <laughs> we went through the fire when the, when the original church burned down and then we built that, what we have now, and of course remodeled it a couple times. and. Uh, so it's, it's really the, the congregation, not the, not the building. The things I see that will be different in this new building would include uh, people moving and having space to, to be here, uh, having space to have the programs that we want to have. For so many years now, we have what my mother would call made do with what we had, and we've gotten creative in how we use the space. And now we are specifically designing a space to accommodate what we see as God's mission for our church. It's a great location. I always had concerns about where the land was located. Uh, this is just an ideal uh, location. It's a high traffic road here and uh, close to the schools and it's just kind of in the middle of everything. Well, I, I'm really excited about a, a new area for the children to be a part of. Um, I think, and, and they'll be in close proximity, there will be upstairs and downstairs with the children. So I think that'll be a nice addition to the program. Well, I see lots of possibilities here. <laughs> Uh, I see, uh, as we have been doing, uh, reaching out more to the community. Um, way back in 2004, we built a playground at uh, the east end of Palmyra, Southeast Park, I think it's called. And that was kind of the beginning of our uh, real push to, 
to meet the needs of this community. And now with a building like this, we're going to be in an even better position to, to meet the needs, uh, maybe in, in daycare, uh, uh, tutoring, all kinds of possibilities. So this is a possibility place. Yeah, that means a lot to me. <laughs> I'm glad to see that so close. <laughs> it means, let's go. We're ready to roll. I'm not sure this is the answer one might be looking for, but uh, I think our congregation uh, could be represented by these wor this word here, and that is, uh, by and large, most people are sold in what's happening in our church and the growth that's occurring and all the neat new people that are coming in.